Hey, okay. Um, thank you for asking the question that I, I didn't realize I will say things like, you know, like sealing the senses, you know, like turning the mirror back upon itself, you know, that kind of, you know, that kind of thing, you know, the, the tree of knowledge, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, sealing the senses, sealing the senses is actually, uh, there's a, apparently more than one way of interpreting this concept, because the way I learned it is from what's called, and, and actually for people who, uh, when it comes to Taoism, this is what I, what I know. So my Kempo instructor, Guy T. Galbraith, a lot of what he taught me comes from medical Qigong. Medical Qigong is what uh, you will sometimes see a reference to in a number of, of different references to f like schools of philosophy or schools of mystery schools. They'll call it a school of hygiene. They're using an old way of re referring to this. What this means is that it is a psychosomatic school that in some way you're doing things supposedly to purify the body. A lot of people on the uh, in the world of, of alternative healing and medicine, stuff like that. This is a big part of your, your getting out the toxins and things like that. No, 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 no. Pain is hot when chi does not flow. Chi is only evident in function. You cannot see chi. You cannot touch chi. You, you, when people are, do you feel the chi ball, you know, and stuff like that, that sort of, the, the better way of putting this is the way that the jujitsu people put it, structure. Can you feel that you naturally, your tendons and ligaments naturally resist pressure that you could easily you you feel your your body as a tensegrity structure because the language of all this is is evolving very quickly because buckminster fuller is one of the only people who in uh, western civilization really came up with a way of kind of talking about at least structure that now through like the book anatomy chains people like S Scott Sonnen um, and a thing called Z Health. I, I highly recommend to people to look up Z Health as you, as you get older. For those of you guys who are getting older, especially if you have hard labor work, this is, it's just good to know about this because if you don't know about it at all, it's, it's better to know what this is, you to have some idea because it's a way, it's a way of, learning how to keep the body going through its full ranges of motion. Most Qigong exercises, that is the, that's what we would say. We would call it range of motion exercise when it's medical Qigong or hygiene. Once it becomes a reference to a thing called Gong Fu, which is sort of meritorious work. Other people will not agree with the way I just put that. And it's because I'm putting it in the term that it would be the the real, like when you learn it, one of the things is, is that the, there's a concept of merit that came out of Buddhism. <clears throat> Bodhidharma says to the king, uh, you know, I have built all these temples, blah, 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 blah. What merit have I earned? There is no merit. No, the merit is in the work. Gong Fu. So it's good Gong Fu. Um, and so hopefully you have good Gong Fu and it's good to have good Gong Fu for the sake of having it. So, uh, so if you're, you're a good, this is a concept that you definitely, any of you are familiar with the talk of masonry, the kind of references made to, to something. He is a brick. Um, you know, that this, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, he, he like truly like, like praising the person in the term of artificer or, you know, like, you, you know, uh, yeah, that, that it was in some way using terminology that is praiseworthy in the concept of this person does good masonry. 
um, is a very similar concept. This is, this is very similar. Um, and no, it does not appear that Masons borrowed on anything Chinese. Actually, the that Encyclopedia of Freemasonry I brought out, there is a long reference on Chinese masonry where they said we have not yet penetrated the world of Chinese Chinese masonry. So they had not they had not gotten into the Hong Moon or secret societies or hidden societies. Um, so now the Hong Moon have exposed their way to so many of us round eyes. There are things like sealing the senses, which are psychosomatic hygienic exercise, so as to first say with the eyes. I usually use three fingers. Uh, this is how I mostly learned. And so what the idea is, is to actually polish using the skin of the eyelids, the eyeball. You could also pinch and raise the skin and roll the skin under your fingertips. As you get more accustomed to this, you will find that your eyes will actually suddenly wash themselves. They'll actually send out a large amount of tear. And it's a way that you could then wash out the tear ducts. Early in the morning, you seal the senses. The nose has two grooves right here. The skull has this, it has this fracture point. So this is why you see chops. The chop is not meant to like, ah, yeah, you know, no. The chop is meant to swat the nose. And, you're, and you have a cupping of the hand so that you could fit it right there. And the idea is really that you, 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 one hand is down here chopping, one hand's up here chopping. You always see this with karate chopping. The, these people who are, yeah, yeah, I don't understand. I don't get that. In my school, it was bang, 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 bang. It was, it was your jab. It was fundamentally your jab. It was because it was so fast. And it got you, and you can make your hand stick. You did whack right on their head with the right amount of moisture. It really was a whack right on there. And, and it's very uncomfortable on the eye. Um, and it will dis it will dislodge the nose if if you, if you could really get enough of your and the whole idea is that you're aiming with your elbow, just like a high five. You're aiming with your elbow, so your elbow is going through their body. So this is just this way that you're trying to get their head to do that. Once you could get that line to break, you could get to what the jujitsu people call triple threat: one, two, groin. And, and, you know, and you could get in around the leg, you know, because the leg can't defend laterally. So if you could twist them, which is the main thing about Kempo, that's what the lower arm is always doing. The lower arm is always working against the uh, clinch so as to get that. And if you could get their head to twist in some way or to get it to tilt, then then you got it. You, you, could, you could work your geography in and get get dick to hip and and from there they have to totally change position and and that's the idea is that you want you want that that to break their line so that they go into kowtow position the uh, elbow knee knee to the ground the, the the uh tripod you want them to tripod so um sealing the senses another with the mouth is uh washing the outside and the inside of the teeth and you, and, you, and you go all the way, and inside and outside, back and forth. Uh, that's, so that's four. One, two, then on the inside, three and four, nine times. So it's 36 passings of your tongue. All this is done in weird like numbers like that. Um, 48, 36, 24, 18. Um, then you have the ears. Remember 18 times, I think. No, 24. 24 for the years. You you just roll them dorsally. Then this is one that actually it could not make sense usually until you see it. Okay, that. You're doing that to the occiput. Now, for those of you who have a tendency that your ears get clogged, that you have sinus and nasal things... The, you, you might want to just see what happens. 
do this regularly, see what happens. Because the idea is this, you've done this 24 times. So then you make sure your mouth and your nose are open so that all the passages that you, you want, this is so this there's back there, not back pressure. I'm, I'm forgetting the term, but what you're doing is one, two. So it's a, it's like pulling. Now you don't do it hard. You do it just enough. And you'll feel it like you'll feel it pull inside your ears. This is how you clear your ears out. Now, it'll also eventually, you do that nine times. <coughs> and you see, I get a dust thing. So that's, I literally, there was just a drain, like a drain from my sinuses there. Like, so, so you do that with your ears. You do that and it makes all those inner ducts of your sinuses. So you've washed the ears. You've washed this saliva area. You've done this to the nose. There's these two grooves, right? Go like this. Shake it. And you're not blowing your nose. You're, just, you're actually trying to get the dust out. And, you're, and there's these grooves here. And you just use a couple of fingers there. There we go. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. And, and you massage there. And uh, this helps keep uh, the your your kidneys or you know your kidneys are showing right there. So this actually your stomach and kidneys are all showing around here. So so the it, 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 the idea is that it's supposed to help with longevity of uh, your eyes, your kidneys, how your how your shen, your spirit shines through your eyes is a, a big part of sealing the senses. Then you've done the mouth. Back of the head, you're doing this. So on the occipital ridge, and you could feel it there. You could feel your spine, and you could feel this ridge. You could grab it, and uh, that's that's the key. That's the magic spot. You could, boom, and and that's it. <laughs> that's you know that's that's the so the whole point of Kempo is to expose that to get triple threat, so that you're up in their armpit all dick against their hip, you know, they try to move their knee, you're behind it, you're in front of it, you know, you're wherever you want to be. But most importantly, you have this, you could either crown them, or just whop right to the back of the head. You know, it, you you do that. And you know, it won't take very long. Most people are not built to take to take a pounding to the back of the fucking skull. And a Kempo has nothing to do with key eye punching and people flying across rooms and and then uh, you tear their heart out no 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 it is it is dirty nasty how do you break a human that it, it is and so gung fu refers to technically historically conditioning all this all this kind of stuff that that's all conditioning how you fight people is a t that's a totally different word. That's chun fa. That's fist style. So tai chi chun. So so that's fist. So there was once an era where you learned chun fa. You learned this thing that, and then when it came when when the Chinese brought it, the military attaches brought it to the tribute nation of Okinawa. It became kumpo. And so. Uh, that, yeah, so so the the actual like, and so you'll usually what what mo, I've from what I found the what you could still see it as is Buddha fist. So there's all these animal styles; those did not exist for quite a bit of time. There were five animal forms, and there were five animal exercises. There weren't necessarily whole styles of animals. That was a later development. At the pith of Shaolin is really a, supposedly a relatively small set of forms and, and drills and things that are really like, that like it's what you would, it, it, you know, and you have to know what they're referring to. You have to know why you're moving that way. <clears throat> But it's really it's just it combos and drills and then these fundamental, you know, it, it, tactics and shit. Um, everything else was built, was elaborated upon. 
you know, it was stuff that people liked. They're, they're the things that they in particularly liked and ways of conditioning the body to be able to, to fight. And, and so it, it is what it is, you know, it's as it, it, people develop things, you know, in the war arts developed for a very long time there in, in this specific monastic setting, just like in Europe where the mo monasteries are where a lot of fencing developed. So uh, that's sealing the senses behind the head. You do that bump, 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 and you will hear it if you hold your palms over your ears. That is beating the drum of heaven. You'll hear it thunder in your head as you go thunk, 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 thunk. So that's like 30, I think like 24 times, something like that. Um, then you uh, tap the teeth together. That, 36. Mouth closed. You'll build up this a lot of spit. Swallow it, stroking your beard in three parts. One, two, three. This is drinking the jade juice, drinking the, the old man drinks wine, old man drinks tea, old man strokes his beard. The idea is that, that all this stuff is drained and that you are then washing it down through the system. You wash downward, crossing the chest, not brushing not too down you cross why i this one i don't know all i know is it works and it was done to me like it was really a man was very nice to me every so often chinese qigong people will see and they'll be like no 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 and they'll and they'll just tell you and you'll realize like oh i did do that wrong i totally forgot how my teacher had taught me and and because they know they're like i don't know how this guy knows co quite what he's doing but he's not doing it quite right so I'm going to just tell this kid what's up. And, and, it, and that was my mentality. No, you, you spent time to tell me, you know, old man, I'm going to listen. So that's sealing the senses. <clears throat> Sorry, I did such a roundabout thing. Um, I like kind of explaining a few things here and there. But also, it's just that uh, it's after work and I'm hyper as hell off of some coffee and I probably need a nap. Um, or something to eat or something. I don't know if I ate. I might have. But uh, yeah, so that's sealing the senses. There's other exercises of massaging your uh, massaging your abdomen. If, if anybody who's who know who's ever probably known anybody who's ever been around me, they're like, oh yeah, he rubs his belly all the time. It's it's just you rub your belly. See, I call it my ancient Chinese secret. I drink lots of herbal teas. Like it's usually a mix of peppermint, chamomile, uh, licorice root. I know you hate licorice root. It's disgusting. It's it, it, There's a reason. There's a reason for it. Um, <laughs> the, the, everything has its reason. Raspberry leaf, uh, you know, things that are blood builders like raspberry leaf and deep green herbs. Um, nothing too wild and crazy. You know, nettle leaf. Nettle's a really good one for, especially for Americans uh, who worry about like their, you know, that you, you worry about like blood illness of some sort in your heart, you know, some, you know, clogging of the arteries, uh, heart diseases of various sorts, uh, blood illness, um, and, you know, blood pressure problems um, that, that then drink raspberry leaf and nettle leaf tea. It, it really, it's just a good pre preventative. You know, and you just you just have it like as you think of it like a, a food supplement and you brew it strong. Like uh, I usually use a uh, one of those bomba straws, one of those those things that you get from Brazil. You know, and it's just this metal straw thing. Well, yeah, I get like the herbs real strong in a real small cup and just keep water going through it for like a really long time. Um, that's usually how I stay warm for my workouts is I have this cup of of, of herbs basically. Uh, and now I, this is just how I became as, as, especially for me, mint is a big deal. Um, thin, wiry. I have a torso that's so small could fit in a, uh, in a cup. 
uh, real long legs. So there's, it's just, it's tendon ligament, um, and, and blood building herbs. And then it's, it's, uh, and then things to cool off the lungs because of just my nature. So that's, and, and so that kind of lifestyle way and, and understanding of how sort of the alchemical system of the body works, it takes a lot of time. I was very fortunate that my teacher was so generous with me about this information and that I then had inherited money at that exact time so that I could go and take some more of this in school and buy a lot of books. Um, I was just very fortunate in this. It doesn't pay well, but it, d it does help that I'm at 42. And I mean, how am I looking? See, there we go. There's some gray. There's some gray. Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad right now. Yeah, you know, and uh, and so, yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, where I got sealing the senses from, not just Montauk Chia's book, but actually I was taught by a man named Billy Hess, H-E-S-S. -S, and it's, oh, Wild Lotus, Wild Lotus Glass Blowing, Wild Lotus Glass Blowing. Uh, if you're in the Eugene Springfield area, he is an excellent instructor in the art of Xing Yi Chuan um, from the uh, Lo De Shi, uh, or it, you would see it as Luo De Ji, I believe, or Shi, uh, if you were to look him up on um, uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, L U O, I believe D E X I. And, uh, it, it's from that, that instruction lineage, uh, that, that he, uh, teaches Xing Yi Chuan and my Xing Yi Chuan's terrible, absolutely just horrid and jerky and funky. Um, uh, but, uh, it, it, he, he teaches extremely well. I mean, he it's beautiful and he's, he's, an, he's made of iron. He's like, it's like hitting a tree and he's and and I think he weighs all maybe about 160 pounds, something like that. <laughs> iron hippie. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, I highly recommend at some point, if you get a chance to take a good Qigong course, um, it's, it is handy to have an understanding of what, what it is, but we really don't use language yet for alternative medicine that works as well. I, I, I mean, really, I took a lot of classes. I've seen a lot of stuff. People still use just shit ass language to try to describe Chinese medicine and alternative healing and all this stuff. And it's, and a big part of it is they're physic, usually they're physically lazy. They do, they, they, they do a little yoga. They, they do some, some, some Naya or something, something, you know, they, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't made to like stand in horse stance for 20 to 30 minutes at a shot and horse, just, just, just sadistic, just sadistic things. But you end up realizing like what, what is a, what is pain threshold? Like you, you understand like, no, no, the body can actually endure tremendous amounts of pain. Like really it's just, you have to, you know, that, you know, mind over matter. And if I don't mind, you don't matter, you know, and all that kind of business. So you no, know, you get voluntold how to understand things in the Chinese fashion, you know, no, Stay in place. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Be still. Have peaceful mind. Sweat like horse. You know. All right. Later.